Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide tutorials to learn about AWS services. This is my tutorial after my summer vacation, so there has been gap, uh, but I promise I'm back from my vacation and I um, will give you, uh, I will start giving my weekly tutorials here onwards. So today we are going to talk about a very simple topic, but very, very interesting one because I have seen many customers asking for this requirement. So recently a Power BI desktop has released a new connector called Athena connector. And this connector provides certain feature which our customers have been asking for quite some time. And today we are going to do a introduction video about it. And of course we will see a demo how this connector work. So let's get started. So we all know that uh, it, it is possible to use Microsoft Power BI Desktop uh, to talk to uh, to talk to a, a, to talk to a, a data in AWS S3 using uh, Athena ODBC driver. And let me show you how that whole integration works at very high level. So uh, your data would be in S3, then you use AWS Glue Data Catalog uh, to catalog your data. Then on the machine where your Microsoft Power BI desktop application is running, the computer where your Microsoft Power BI desktop is running, there you use to configure ODBC data source. And this ODBC data source is configured using Symbia, Simba Athena ODBC driver. Then in Microsoft Power BI desktop application, you configure ODBC connector. Uh, and then this ODBC connectors uses this ODBC data source uh, to establish a connection with the data in AWS uh, cloud. And then you simply use, uh, you use this connector to populate your data set, data set and create your report. So this is how the integration of Microsoft Power BI Desktop with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, AWS S3 data used to work. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool integration using ODBC connector and uh, Simba Athena ODBC driver. But one of the challenge of this, um, uh, this connection was that it only supports import data. That only way you can uh, populate your data set is by importing S3 data into the data set, like kind of taking data offline from S3 to, uh, to Microsoft Power BI, and then do reporting on top of that. Which is fine, but it was not, uh, but it was not suitable in certain scenario. So, for instance, if your S3 data is changing very frequently, then in that case, this import method uh, will give you uh, reports on the stall data because the data which is into your data set is not the same data what is in your S3 bucket because S3 data, data is um, changing very frequently. So, ODBC connector was a uh, a nice approach and nice connector, but uh, its biggest shortcoming was supporting only import uh, data uh, when trying to, you know, when Microsoft Power BI tries to connect to uh, Amazon S3 uh, as a data source. So recently, Microsoft Power BI uh, released a new Athena connector, which mitigates this problem this challenge this remove this uh, uh, this challenge and that is what i want to show you in our uh, video today so your configuration does not change much uh, on the aws side uh, you uh, still have your data into s3 bucket and you configure aws glue data catalog uh, then on the computer where you're running microsoft power bi desktop there you still need to configure odbc data source uh, using simba athena odbc driver but then when it comes within microsoft power bi desktop applications things change where you will not use odbc connector anymore but you will use athena connector and using this athena connector then you can populate your data set and then can create your reports or dashboard. Now this, uh, so the change, if you see the change is uh, in this whole integration is your ODBC connector has been replaced by Athena connector and this connector is still under preview, still under beta, uh, but you can work with it, you can use it actually, it's perfectly functional and that's what I'm going to demo you, uh, de demo to you as well. Now this Athena connector has the beauty of supporting both modes. 
so it can still support it still supports import data you can still do importing of the data but it also supports direct query that means you can directly make a query uh, you can directly make query to s3 bucket uh, to to fetch the data and in that case actually um, like the scenario i talked earlier where the, the customer has data in s3 but the data is changing very frequently in that case people will like to use the direct query query mode because in direct query mode then you don't hit to, don't have to import any data and whenever you make a query your query always fetches the latest data so um, this is a new connector which I think uh, yeah you sh should start considering uh, to use especially if direct query is your requirement. Now in order to use this new connector uh, there are certain supported versions uh, uh, which you have to run on your uh, laptop where you're trying to run Microsoft Power BI desktop. Uh, so first of all you might have to uh, in fact you will have you will have to uh, deploy the latest version of Microsoft Power BI which is uh, 2.95 uh, and this is a July release uh, July 2021 release which you have to uh, download and install from uh, Microsoft uh, uh, website then you also need to upgrade your Simba Athena ODBC driver and the latest version should be uh, 1.11 uh, 1 again this is a release which is done in July 2021 so in very simple terms you can look into Simba Athena ODBC drivers release for July 2021 and uh, Microsoft Power BI uh, release for 2021 and if you have these two uh, if you have these two updates for your Microsoft Power BI and Simba Athena ODBC driver then you can uh, make use of uh, Athena connector uh, to make both kind of import and direct query. So uh, moving on time for the demo. So let's have a very quick demo and I said it's not going to be a very long video but I wanted to show you this feature because I have uh, I have seen customers uh, who who like to use Microsoft Power BI with uh, uh, with uh, S3 data using Simba Athena ODBC driver, but they have been they have been they have been limited because of uh, not having a direct query uh, feature available. So, what I have done here is that I have uh, simply configured uh, uh, S3 bucket with uh, two types of data: customers and sales. Again, this is uh, a dummy uh, data just for the demo purposes, and then I have gone to uh, Glue, uh, and in Glue, I have configured uh, one uh, Dojo data uh, Dojo database, and this data in this database I have cataloged uh, both of uh, the data this customers and sales data as a customers and sales tables using a crawler uh, so this um, data is good up and uh, running now what we are going to do is that we will see how we can use um, this Athena connector within Microsoft Power BI to connect to this uh, glue catalog and um, yeah and uh, do the reporting so first thing we need to do is we have to configure the odbc driver uh, so i'm going to open the odbc um, uh, driver um, uh, application and then the configuration application and i want to add an odbc driver um, look at this uh, simba uh, athena odbc driver version it should be 1.1.11 1 as i mentioned earlier so we need to uh, configure this uh, driver so I'm going to take it down a bit here and let's uh, put uh, a name over here. We can say it is Dojo uh, Data Source uh, and then uh, region is uh, EU West 1. Um, what could be my S3 output location for, at, uh, for Athena queries uh, and that could be S3 Dojo, oops, Dojo hyphen. Um, my data so I've just created one bucket which I can use for um, uh, my Athena uh, so S3 location for my Athena query so primarily uh, you provide your data source name your your region name uh, by default is taking the catalog and the schema and the work group of course if you are using a different catalog schema work group you have to mention that over here and then you also provide your S3 output uh, S3 output location so having done that let's uh, go to the authentication option 
now you can authenticate in uh, you can authenticate in many ways uh, so for instance uh, you can uh, use im profile or instance profile or you can go for whole range of uh, you know, uh, your um, identity provider or federation providers over here uh, but i'm not going to cover that in, in in today's topic today's topic is more focused on athena connector so i'm going to use simple im credentials uh, and then here i'm going to provide my uh, um, X, X secret key and access key. So I copy my access key over here and then I copy my secret key over here. Okay. Oops. Yeah. So I have configured my authentication option. Let's click on the test to see if this whole connection is working fine. So yes, the connection is working fine. So I say OK and then I say OK. So my, now my ODBC um, connection, uh, ODBC uh, yeah, uh, data source has been configured. And uh, this is the same step you used to do uh, in, in the earlier uh, in the earlier way where you have been using ODBC um, connector to connect to the S3 bucket. So uh, having done that, now let's move on to the Microsoft uh, Power BI desktop application. So this is Microsoft uh, Power BI desktop applications. Uh, this is the latest version which I have. So it's the July release which I have downloaded and then uh, yeah, installed on my um, laptop here. So I'm going to my uh, data source and I say I want to see more options. And then here um, it is actually uh, yeah, going to ask uh, okay how to get the data and then in this case i'm saying that i want um, for instance i want i'm looking for athena and you can see here amazon athena connector is available and it's still still in beta so i simply say i want to connect to it uh, it will give me some connectors warning that it is still under development and yeah, there is no guarantee the same version will be the final version. Yeah, pretty much file. So um, one word of caution that probably you don't want to use this into your production environment um, uh, because yeah, you're not sure this is how it's going to be configured in your final version as well. Okay, so let's move on uh, further. And then it's going to ask for some more uh, configuration. So it's going to ask that what is your data source name? So what is your ODBC uh, data source uh, name which you have configured? And in this case, it is, uh, if, if I'm not wrong, uh, this is uh, Dozo data source. So what I'm going to do here is that I'll come back over here and say this is Dozo data source. And then here you can work in both kind of connectivity modes. So earlier the only option was import, but now uh, we also it also supports connect uh, uh, connect using direct query. So we are going to use this direct query because you import, you know it works, right? So uh, you have seen that with that ODBC connection as well. So I leave it to you if you want to play, but I'm more interested in direct query over here. And I simply say, okay, after selecting the direct query mode, and then um, let's see what it throws to throws for the configuration. Uh, so it's uh, it's going to show me uh, the my catalog over here. So you can see here that uh, in my uh, AWS data catalog, I have got Dozo DB, and then I have got my uh, both uh, tables. So suppose I select my customers table over here, uh, it it shows the preview, and I say I want to load it. So load doesn't mean that it's going to load uh, actually um, this data uh, into a data set. Uh, it's it's mostly setting up a connection actually. Okay. So uh, once you do that, uh, yeah, you can uh, see over here uh, in a while that uh, my 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 data connection will be uh, configured. So you can see my table is configured now. It's showing me all the fields. Now, suppose if you want to do any reporting on top of that, all you need to do is simply select one visualization. Suppose I select uh, this uh, table visualization over here, and then I'm saying in this table, I want to see my uh, contact first name and last name. 
And when I'm doing that, actually, uh, what it's doing going to is this report is doing over here is that it's, it's making actually a direct query to the data source uh, to fetch the data. So this data you see over here, these two columns shown over here, they are making a direct query to the S3 bucket to uh, fetch uh, the uh, data. So that is all I wanted to show you today that how you can use Athena connector with uh, Microsoft Power BI desktop applications to uh, make a direct query request to uh, make a direct query request to uh, Amazon S3 uh, based data. So that is all for today guys. Hope you like this video and if you like please click on the like button. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, uh, channel and I promise to come back again uh, with uh, another video in a week's time. Uh, in the meantime if you have any questions, any feedback, anything you want to discuss feel free to uh, reach out uh, to me uh, through the comment section on my YouTube channel. Um, I have some I have some backlog of responding to comments for last uh, couple of weeks due to my vacation. I will clear that in next uh, couple of days but yeah I look forward to more feedback and comments from your side. Any request you have for new content and I look forward to uh, you know, uh, go through your feedback to improve uh, the content, uh, improve my content and my delivery to you. Uh, so that is all for this week guys. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, see you in a week's time again. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe and have a nice day. Bye-bye.